What's up, fool? Uh, rather than writing you a long email, I'm just going to show you how to manage your team and shit. Hope your uh, med school is going well, or pre-med school, rather, is going well. So once you get into the site, here's the home. Or that's not the home. Here's our league site. There we are. There's uh, that's you in third. That's me in seventh because I suck. Oh, but I'm beating you this week, so that's pretty cool. So you would just click on your name and go to your team. You're there's no going on. Go for killers. Okay. There's two views. One is drag and drop, so you can drag these around. This is Java. This one is the classic one written probably in HTML. Um, so if I want to move somebody, say I want Tangway to play, just click the drop down, click left wing, click this dude in left wing, put him to bench, and then submit the changes. And you can see all the CDs guys. And that's as basic as the moves become. You just have to make sure that all these match, all these uh, places match up with the rest of this type of stuff. So the drag and drop is works pretty well. It doesn't work if you have one of the, your players injured on IR. Um, that's a choice that is in here. Like you can see that my goalie is injured. I put him on the injured reserve list, which means I get to pick up another player uh, up here. So um, until Jaguar comes back, when Jaguar comes back, I have to drop one of my other players. And I, I could drop a goalie. I could drop anybody. I just have to, you have to keep the same amount of, play. you have a max number of people on your roster. For a drag and drop, I mean, it's pretty easy. And easily put people down and, uh, and move them around and stuff like that. So you want to go through, and these are all the links to the different days. Like today's Tuesday. I've set my lineup. You want to make sure both of your players, any players that are playing, this means that they're playing at four, that they're listed up in the actives, which are from util above utility. You can put in any player in the utility spot. But centers, centers, left wing, left wing, right wing, and right wing, deep defense, in defense. Anybody can be in the util. Then we want to go to the next day. Make sure you save changes. Go to the next day, which is Wednesday, and you can see I put all my players up in the active spots so that they all get to play. It doesn't matter for Jaguar because he's injured, um, but the other two goalies are playing. You also want to make sure your goalies play at least three times a week, which is what happened last week, why I lost, because I only had one goalie that was active for two games. You have to have a minimum of three starts, um, and that just helps so that somebody can't just, like, play their goalie once they get lucky they get a shutout there's no goals they have you know so they have an unbeatable goal against they have an unbeatable um save percentage that it just prevents that from happening so uh <clears throat> if you want to do a trade it's any of these things up here so you can propose a trade choose your players um i also think you should probably take a look at the players that are available on the free agent list because there's a lot of good ones like Crossbell and Kopitar. Kopitar is probably going to have a really good year uh, on the Kings. So if you're if you're saying you need a new player and you need a center, that would be somebody to do. But you need some defense too since Niedermeyer's out. But there's some good defense. Choose a good team that has defense. You get a good plus-minus rating at least out of them. Or somebody that's going to pick up major penalty minutes. Like uh, this guy on San Jose already has 22 penalty minutes. That's pretty damn good. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much how to manage your team. So, yeah. Any questions, let me know.